Hello everyone, happy to see your friendly faces again. In this video I'm gonna show you how to add Facebook streaming to your OBS. What you wanna do first, go to your Facebook page. If you happen to have a user and a page, so this is quite the user, so first you wanna switch to the page because then you usually will want to stream to the page and not to the user. You can do both though, so don't worry, both is possible, but I'm going to show you how to do it for the page. So first I switch to my page. Now I'm on my Facebook page and there is this thing here which is called live video. So I click that one. Yeah, it wants camera permission, which is currently not possible because the camera is right here in this OBS, but never mind. So what you're gonna do is go to connect. Over here, it says connect your live stream to the live API. Choose when you want to post your broadcast on the right hand side. So you can basically add stuff here like when your broadcast should be posted, like should it be shared on your timeline? Should it be shared in a group? Uh, should, should want, do you wanna share an event? Or should it be shared on a page you manage? You can ch change the, the page, of course, when you select the page. I usually would share it on my Facebook page. That's the place I was at. So on the Chief Avalon page, I want the live stream. So I select share on page I manage. Then here you can, can say something about your live stream, blah, 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 blah. You can set the title for your live stream, which is blah, 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 or which is come watch or whatever. And you can even add tags and you can name the game like, for example, Clash Royale. You can add the game here. That's just the basic settings. Then below here, you get a stream key. So what you need in OBS to connect Facebook is basically what is right here, the server URL that you will need to connect to Facebook and you need the stream key. Always keep the stream key secret. So if you have not enabled the persistent stream key here, you will have a different stream key for every stream. So I usually recommend, because that's quite a hassle, to have that persistent stream key enabled. And that means you will always, you, you will need to do this setup only once and from then on, on, you can just start OBS and you're done. It's very easy. You don't have to change any stream settings in OBS anymore if you have the persistent stream key. What you do is you copy your persistent stream key right here. You don't need the server URL. You're going to see why in a minute. You copy that secret key. Never share that key with anyone because then they can stream on your behalf and you don't want that. So keep that key secret at all times. So you copy that key. With that copied key, you go to OBS. I have a special Facebook profile here. You see, I have a stream, a profile for every stream I'm do, going to, like for Twitch and YouTube. I created a Facebook profile. Then you go to settings, settings, stream, and streaming service. You select streaming service. That's why you don't need to copy the URL because and if you select streaming service, OBS already provides you with the correct URL. If you select custom streaming server, you can provide any URL that you want to stream to. So we select streaming service. Then here from the services, we select, of course, Facebook Live, not YouTube or Twitch. That's the URL. You leave the server on default. You add your stream key right here. You press OK and you're all set. You can press your start streaming button and your stream will connect. So why do you stream to the page? The reason is if you stream to the page, you can then go and share it to your person profile as well. So everybody will see that you're live. So let's try this here. So let's press the start streaming button. And then if you switch to your Facebook page, you will basically see the stream here already. And then you just click this <laughs> over here, the go live button and you're live with your stream. So there's actually a nice little preview available here in Facebook streaming. I'm not gonna do this now. I'm actually gonna stop the stream instead. There you go. So. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. I'm planning to have a weekly tutorial series, so make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for notifications, and I see you in the next video. Bye.